Last but not least, we bring you our preview for boys and girls cross country. Justin Cornwell lets us know which teams and runners have the best chance to end the year competing at Detweiler Park. We begin the boys cross country portion of our fall preview with the defending DVC champion Wabonzi Valley. 2021 was a huge year for the Warriors who took home their first conference plaque since 2004. The deep roster also finished as a regional runner-up behind seniors Ethan Marshall and Jacob Tucker and Angel Solis, Andres Perez, Chris Miserandino and Aiden Oster who battled injuries throughout the year. Despite all the success from the aforementioned runners in recent seasons, they all need to be replaced. Key returners Zach Self and Gavin Ebenezer will look to keep Wabonzi at the top of the pack. Mattia Valley transfer Alex Tremoloni is ready to contribute as well. Warriors head coach Kevin Rafferty knows the challenges that lie ahead. You know, the top seven kids were not where last year's top seven kids were, but we look at where the growth over the course of the year is for those individual kids. We're significantly better individually than we were uh, last year for those individual kids. And that's, you're, we want to do apples to apples comparisons, not apples to oranges. This is a group of young men that one guy ran at sectionals last year, two of them ran at regionals. But we've had a really good spring, we've had a really good summer, we look really good. You know, are they going to catch last year's team? Probably not. Are they going to run better than they did last year and be more competitive than people think they are right now? Yeah, probably. Moving on to one of the strongest running programs in the state for the past 20 years, Nico Valley. While last fall was not the most successful season the Wildcats have produced, they were still the lone area school to qualify for state as a team. There's a lot of potential for the blue and gold this fall, despite the loss of top runners Noah Shalio, Nick Rolling, and Charlie Rook. Zach Close and Ryan Palmer will lead a group who gained valuable experience in 2021 with Logan Brown, Andres Lopez, Nicholas Castrion, Matthew Gutierrez, and Robert Glenn, all great options to round out the top five. With legendary coach Paul Vandersteen still leading the way, it will be no surprise to see Nequa Valley Boys Cross Country once again competing for a trophy at state. Our next program has also produced very strong teams in recent years. That would be the Naperville North Huskies. The Blue and Orange was home to the area's lone All-State runner last fall and senior Gabe Bryan. Fellow seniors Harrison Belke, Peter Harrison, and Chris King have also moved on due to graduation. That leaves returning varsity members Luke Donaldson, Gabe Russell, and Chris Corcoran to lead the way for a new pack of dogs in 2022. Naperville Central, the crosstown rivals of the Huskies, will also be featuring a mostly new look varsity squad this season. Nicholas Keating and Owen Foster have graduated, along with Paul Villasenor. However, there is plenty of talent coming back in the likes of Luke Norin, Thomas Mask, and Luke Flesner. The Redhawks have a new head coach this season with former assistant Grant Begans now leading the program. He will be tasked with combining his experienced runners with some new standouts, ready to make the leap onto varsity. Matia Valley did not have a season to write home about last fall, but it was a very young varsity roster. Despite losing Benjamin Lazma and Harishan Musanuri to graduation, the Mustangs should be returning five runners from 2021. In addition to top performers Nathan Baer and Ramiz Abrar, Austin Brown, Zach Johnson, and Rohan Aletti are also back. Even better news for the black and gold is that all five returnees will still be underclassmen, providing more chances for growth in future seasons as well. We conclude boys cross country with the 2021 ESCC champions from Bennett Academy. The Red Wings also qualified for sectionals as a team last fall. A trio of strong runners were lost to graduation in Dominic Ulmer, Sean Kingston, and Grant Ross. But this was a very young group a year ago, and hopes are high for BA with such a strong squad coming back. Charlie Phelan, Aiden Hewlett, Ryan Amidi, and Finn Richards all return, and just like Mattia Valley, all will still be underclassmen. The boys from Bennett Academy are well equipped to bring home another ESCC crown and compete for an extended run in postseason races. The girls cross country fall preview takes off with the team bursting with potential in 2022, the Naperville Central Redhawks. After finishing in sixth place at state, the program's best finish since the early 90s, 
All seven top varsity runners are back this fall. Leading the way is the talented trio of Liv Phillips, Kate Tuting, and Ava Hendren. Addison George, Julia Laird, Lola Satri Morales, and Abby Mogg are also back, along with expectations that have never been higher. You guys got this. You're going to run great. On three. One, two, three. Team! Up next is the team that has always set the gold standard for girls cross country in the area. Or maybe that should be called the blue and orange standard. Coach Dan Iverson's Naperville North program is ready for another state run this fall, despite some key losses. All-state runner Lucy Westlake and fellow senior Sophie Golubish both graduated, but the Huskies are always ready to reload. Emma Barris, Julie Pio, Annika Levisa, Logan Brennan, Marissa Magana, and Nora Hess are ready for the spotlight. It's not often that a seventh place finish at state is considered a down year, but after four consecutive state championships from 2016 through 2019, this North team is ready to get back to competing for state trophies in 2022. Let's shift over to the lone team representing the ESCC, Bennett Academy. The 2019-2A state champions had a lot of talent to replace last fall as the team made the move up to Class 3A in 2021. The Red Wings are losing two more members of that 2019 championship roster after the graduation of Amelia Parisi and Mary Weber. This season, senior Louisa Diamond will serve as the unquestioned leader of the Red and Black. The ESCC runner-up, state qualifier, and lone remaining varsity performer from the championship team will get help from underclassmen like Grace Andringa, Delilah Hellenhouse, Anelia Gaudio, and Therese Tully. 2021 was only the third season since 1993 that the Red Wings did not win the ESCC title, nearly finishing in second to Nazareth. The Red Wings are eager to soar back to the top of the conference and get back to state contender status this fall. Mattia Valley will certainly miss the dynamic duo of Sarah Maggio and Keeley Bear as the 2022 season gets underway. The two helped the Mustangs to team sectional qualification and qualified for state as individuals in their final year wearing black and gold. Making matters more challenging, Elena Lehner and Alina Rachupkina, who both finished in the top 50 at regionals, have graduated as well. The Matia coaching staff hopes to continue the development of promising returners Kamiya Baker, Maya Hall, Zoe Kirkman, and Taylor Postis Bell this fall. No local cross country team, regardless of gender, was less experienced than the 2021 Wabonzi Valley girls cross country runners. While that created some tough sledding a year ago, it also provides plenty of opportunity for major strides forward this season. Lily Bayback returns for her sophomore campaign after being the Warriors' lone state qualifier as a freshman. Wabonzi only lost one senior to graduation in Jackson Dowell. That means that Carmen Solis, Lindsay Matthews, Greta Salmon, and Iman Ali will be back with nowhere to go but up. Nequa Valley rounds out this portion of the girls cross country preview as the Wildcats will try to turn around their fortunes on the trails this fall. Sectional qualifier Ashley Robinson and fellow graduates Alyssa Mead and Ava Volanti have all moved on, leaving a young returning core. Gretchen Leland is back for her senior season, while the other three varsity returnees are all sophomores. Maggie Kalish, Grace O'Malley, and American Ninja Warrior junior standout Sienna McEnany all gained valuable experience throughout their freshman years. For a program like Nico Valley, it would be no surprise to see a big leap from the returning runners combined with some promising new additions, leading to a push to the top of the DVC standings.